Hey, good morning, y'all. That's Anthony. Alright, so a couple little points. I'm still here waiting for my friend to take your kids to school because they missed the bus. But, anyways, um, why don't people want to be better in life? Are you one of those people that you're just content with where you're at in life and you don't want to do better or become more? Or you're living somewhere you don't want to live and not trying to move out? Hey. Every day you need to do something to work towards your goals and dreams. Every day you need to take little actions to make you a better person. You need to learn and grow. The more you learn, the more successful you will become. The more you grow as a person, the more money you'll attract. The more you'll grow your wallet. But if you are seriously um, giving up on life because you're not comfortable, what's the point of being alive? If you're not going to challenge yourself daily to become a better version of yourself, there's really no reason for you to even be here. You're put on this earth to live a life full of joy, happiness, and abundance. Most people give up on being happy and joyful and be content with just making a steady paycheck and living paycheck to paycheck, not being able to do crap with their lives. And people are content with that. Why? It makes no sense to me. But, apparently to a lot of y'all it does. So let's start with some very simple concepts for y'all. If you've not read The Richest Man in Babylon, it is the simplest financial concept you understand. I t educated people, a few people on these concepts yesterday. Seriously, every time you get paid, pay yourself first. Stop paying everybody else first. The government's going to take out their money with the taxes. That's why I don't like working for someone else because half your money goes to the government in the form of taxes. And then everyone's so happy they get their tax return back at the end of the year. That's money they took from you throughout the year. I don't go for a tax return. My goal is um, get nothing back and not owe anything because that means I got all my money throughout the year. It's way more fun, way more lucrative. But heck. I said. When you first get paid, pay yourself first. 10% of everything you own or everything you make is yours to keep. Which means once you get paid, take 10% and put it into a, a separate account that you never touch. Then when that accumulates to a nice little nest egg, invest it. Make it make you some money. If you have debt, a few of the people I talked to yesterday they didn't have no debt. They still live at home with their parents and they really didn't accumulate any debt yet until they get their credit cards. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But take. 20% of the money you make and pay off your debt and then you can live off 70% of the money it takes some um, adjusting it takes some sacrifice but you can do it and that's a surefire way to get out of debt and to accumulate a nice nest egg but the very simple fact of the matter is you need to accumulate more assets and minimize your liabilities so find ways to put money into your pocket and find ways to get rid of taking money out of your pocket. It's not hard. It takes some um, trial and error, but you can do it. And I really don't like this area. But, yeah. Seriously, the bat is of the hand. If you do not like where you live, huh. Or the people you stay with, move. Relocate. It's not hard. Uh, but everybody comes up with an excuse why they can't do something. Oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't. I can't. Just do it. Make it happen and figure it out afterwards. But I'm sick of sitting around here. So I'm about to get off here and figure out where they are. The kids are going to be late for school. So y'all have a great day and I'll talk to y'all later.